In the newest Brawl Talk, Brawl Stars officially announced the six new hyperchargers that will be coming into the game in the next update. In this video, I'm going to explain and break down everything that you guys need to know about these six new hyperchargers. So the first Brawler we're going to be showing you guys is Buzz, and his hypercharge is Buzzwatch. Basically, what this does is you can throw multiple torpedoes at the same time, so you can use like three, four, or even five hooks in this one hypercharge. All of the hooks also stun, so this is an absolutely crazy hypercharge. This is easily going to be the number one hypercharge, not only of this batch, but in the game 100%. Probably because of Buzz, they nerfed the fact that you can't, if you're popping off, extend your hypercharge. It only lasts five seconds now, no matter how good you're doing. So Buzz basically has unlimited grapples for five seconds. This is really good because not only can you stun people, you can also kind of Spider-Man all over the place. So you guys can see on the screen, I'm kind of just Spider-Manning all over the map. And in five seconds, you can get basically anywhere. The way I would probably use this hypercharge because you get a 25% speed boost on top of damage and shield is I would probably grapple towards a wall to get myself closer to other enemies and then use the shield and the speed to kind of wiggle my way close to them and then just auto aim my super. It's very easy to get at least two supers off. So this should be a very common play that you're making making with the hypercharge. We did run a few tests for all the brawlers. One of the tests we did was Buzz hypercharge versus all the little bots and Buzz absolutely destroys it. This is one of the best brawlers for taking out small HP units. So things like Mr. P penguins or spawnables, Buzz will absolutely destroy. We also checked how high the damage per second can get and it gets a little bit above 6,000 at its peak. That is clearly a ton of damage. So if you combine your grapple, which stuns opponents, and this hypercharge, there is just no way you're not going to kill everything in your path. We also did a high safe test for a lot of the brawlers, but the grapple doesn't do anything besides bring you onto the high safe, so we're not going to show you it for buzz. I would only use this hypercharge solely for killing enemies and solely for getting up the map, and that's really it. Overall, Buzz easily has the best hypercharge in the game, and I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10. You know what? Even an 11 out of 10. This is game-breaking. Next up, we have BB's hypercharge out of bounds. And what this does is it splits the bubble into two when it hits a target. So this one is a little bit weird. For the test where you kill all the little bots, BB absolutely did the best by a mile. It took like three seconds. I don't know exactly how long to kill all of them so if there are a lot of opponents clumped up into one little area bb's hypercharge is absolutely insane to use now with the positives there is some negatives though usually when you super a high safe with bb you can do about 18 percent if you have a ball bouncing back and forth on a lot of different maps you cannot hypercharge the safe because the ball is going to split into two and it's not going to bounce back and forth so the hypercharge is completely useless on the high safe which kind of sucks so the good thing with bb is that it doesn't take a lot of shots to charge the hypercharge you guys know a lot of brawlers such as Jesse and Crow have been weaker because it takes a long time to charge it and you don't even get like one hypercharge a game. With BB, it's the exact opposite. It takes only six normal attacks to charge your hypercharge and that is super easy to get on a brawler like BB. So you're probably looking at getting about two to three hypercharges a game when you're playing BB and that is a lot of hypercharges when you compare it to other brawlers. So because it doesn't take that many shots to charge BB's hypercharge, it's probably a little better than the actual hypercharge ability is and I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Next up we have Sprout's hypercharge thorns. So what this does is Sprout's vine hedge now damages nearby enemies as well as puts a wall down. So this doesn't sound that good, but let me explain a little bit. So it takes 11 shots to get Sprout's Hypercharge, which seems like a lot of shots compared to BB6, but obviously it is a lot easier to get a Sprout shot than it is to get a BB shot. So I think this is relatively good for Sprout, and you should be able to get one to two hypercharges a game. So I did a couple tests, and in terms of killing all the small bots, it actually does a pretty good job. I mean, you can kind of just throw walls on things that are one shot is what I'm realizing, and it's going to get the kill. So anything 500 HP and below, you can just auto aim your wall, and it should be an instant kill every single time. Now, I obviously did the big bot and high safe damage test, and the big bot kind of disappointed. I was only really able to get mid 2000s for how much damage I can do per second. It just doesn't really do that much at all. And I thought, you know, maybe this is going to be kind of lackluster. But then I started getting a little bit creative. I realized you can put two walls down at the same time and my mind started spinning. I went on heist and I put one hypercharged super down on the safe. I just auto aimed it to see what it would do. And as you guys can see, well, it does a lot. Just one wall by itself does 32% to a heist safe. Like, what is that? And if you really want to get fancy and you want to use the hypercharge sprout to the absolute best of your abilities, you can put a wall on the ground before you have your hypercharge. Then once you have your hypercharge, you can throw your hypercharge super onto the safe, pick up your other wall, and then throw that wall on the safe as well and get 60 
53% damage with zero shots taken as a sprout. That is criminal. That is crazy. You can also use sprout hypercharge kind of the same way that you would use a sprout wall. So you would use a sprout wall for area denial. You would put it in a choke point and then players can't walk up. But instead, you could put it on a choke point, pick up that wall, and then throw it on another choke point. So you can get two choke points covered with just one wall and one hypercharge. I think that's really good. So with all the information I have, I'm going to give the Sprouts hypercharge a 7.5 out of 10. I mean, it's pretty good. And what you can do in Heist, completely revamp Sprout. You can now play Sprout in Heist and be an actual threat, which is crazy. I can't even believe I'm saying that. At the same time, I don't think it helps Sprout in the modes where it super excels in. So stuff like Knockout and Bounty, I don't think it does the most because players are so far away. And just throwing a Sprout Wall and having Thorns around it just doesn't help the most in those modes. So I'm mostly giving it a high rating because you can now use it in another mode. And it's an actual threat there on top of the fact that it's obviously going to be better in the modes that it's good at like Bounty and Knockout. Next up, we have Bell's Hypercharge Magnetic. So for this, Bell's Spotting Shot automatically follows the closest target. And we have not seen anything like this before in Brawl Stars. I mean, just look at how much this curves. This is absolutely insane. Yeah. There's Piper curves that curve towards the enemy, but this is totally different. Piper doesn't even compare at all to this. This can basically curve half the map. So if you miss, it is your fault. You should probably stop playing Bell. Now, although it has this crazy curve to it, what does the hypercharge actually do? And to be honest, the answer is nothing. It doesn't change anything. It just curves your mark and that's really all it does. So how exactly do you want to use this bell hypercharge so i put it to the test like i did for everything else and honestly i wasn't that impressed it took 10 full shots to actually get the hypercharge which is kind of a lot for a brawler like bell then i thought okay maybe you can do well versus the little bots but actually it did horrible in fact it was the very worst brawler against the little bots it's single fire so the hypercharge literally changes nothing it doesn't reload any faster it doesn't do anything any better than it would at a normal state then i went to the high safe and i thought you know maybe it can do something to the high safe no, it is absolutely useless to also use it versus a high safe. So it's not really that smart to use it versus targets like a high safe with a lot of HP. And it's also not really the best to use it versus targets that have little HP like a Mr. P Penguin or something. So what exactly are you using this hypercharge for? And what I realized is the best way to use Bell's hypercharge is by simply just clicking it and auto aiming all your buttons. I know this sounds a little bit crazy. Like what is this pro player talking about of just clicking your purple button and then auto aiming your super and your shots but let me explain you get a 26 percent speed buff a 25 percent damage buff and a five percent shield buff so what i think the best thing to do with bell is get your hypercharge get your super click your purple button click your yellow button and just start spamming your red button and do as much damage as you can when there are multiple targets nearby you are 100% going to at least kill one, and you're probably going to kill two. If not, your teammate can most likely help clear up. So I'm going to rate this hypercharge a 5 out of 10. It's really not that good, to be honest. It doesn't have any big crazy wow factor. It's just, it curves a lot, but honestly, it's pretty easy to hit the mark already, so it doesn't really do that much to Bell outside of give it good stat buffs. Next up, we have El Primo's Gravity Leap. El Primo drops an intergalactic elbow that brings enemies closer to you. So you guys know how a normal Primo jump works. You hit someone and they bounce away. Now they bounce to you and honestly, this is pretty good. So it takes 10 full shots or 40 total punches to get your super. You could also take two supers and about seven full shots to get it. Now, the reason this is a little bit weird and it seems like it takes a lot of shots to get your hypercharge is, well, it does, but you also charge your super while getting hit. And as a primo, you get hit a lot. So I would say it takes about one jump and about full six shots to get your hypercharge in a normal game because you're going to be getting hit a ton while doing that. At first, when I played this, I thought that this was going to be kind of a useless hypercharge because I feel like when you jump on someone with Primo, you almost certainly get the kill already. But then after doing several tests and playing it versus bots, I realized that is not the case at all. First off, this absolutely dominates and destroys all the little brawlers, does just as well as Buzz. So if you're trying to clear out little damage HP stuff on your screen, pop your hypercharge, get to supering. This is going to be the easiest thing you'll ever do in Brawl Stars. As for total damage, it doesn't really hit that crazy number that something like Buzz or Colt can reach with its hypercharge, so I wouldn't use it to tackle a high safe or do something like that. In fact, using it on something high HP like a high safe is a complete waste of this hypercharge. The best way to use this hypercharge is just find a big group of enemies, 
and just jump on them and spam your auto aim buttons. You can chain supers very easily and it will absolutely shred through teams. Kind of like Buzz, I feel like you have a big team wipe opportunity when you have this hypercharge. But unlike Buzz, it is not game breaking. It's just pretty good. Overall, I'm going to give Primo's hypercharge about a 7.3 out of 10. I know I'm giving out a lot of sevens, but a lot of these hypercharges are just average which honestly I'm very thankful for because the last group of brawlers and hypercharges have been just so difficult to deal with. I'm pretty thankful we have kind of a chill batch of hypercharges right now. Last but certainly not least, we have Cordelius' hypercharge, which is complete darkness. What this does is Cordelius now slows down his targets when sending them into the Shadow Realm. If the Shadow Realm wasn't easy enough, you have not only the stat buffs from being in the realm, but now the stat buffs of the actual hypercharge and your enemy is slowed, so it's just a free kill regardless of what's happening in there. See, the weird thing for me is I originally thought this is not going to be a good hypercharge at all. I thought it was going to be a 1 out of 10 because it is super easy already to get a kill in the realm. Did we really need to make that part about Cordelius better? And the answer is no. No, we did not. But you could still use this really efficiently. Before we get to the best way to use it, here are some of the tests that I did. A, Cordelius still sucks versus the little bots. Just like Bell, it didn't help at all, and it is not good versus a bunch of little spammy targets. So if you're facing stuff like a Mr. P, Spike that has Cactus, or other brawlers like that, Cordelius is still not the pick whatsoever. What you want to be playing Cordelius into is very high HP targets. When we were shooting the big bot, Cordelius actually had the highest damage per second, which peaked out at a little bit above 8,000. So in dire need, if you really wanted to shoot the high safe with this, you could just pop your hypercharge and just shoot the high safe. Although this is going to do literally nothing towards your super, you still have that 25% buff with the damage. Now, I wouldn't recommend to use it like that, only if it's the end of a game and you really need to get that win, but I would obviously use it in a different way. How I would like to use it is pop my hypercharge and quickly get a kill versus someone in the realm, get out of the realm, and then continue using my hypercharge so I can have my stat buffs and get a second kill or at least get in position to get my next super. The main thing you want to be doing with Cordelius is cycling supers and you can't do that in the dimension anymore so you need to get a kill quick when you use your hypercharge, pop back out and then continue using your hypercharge. I'm going to give this a 6.5 out of 10. I don't think it's really that good because it's kind of buffing something that Cordelius was already really good at. I think it's kind of a useless hypercharge, so I'm not really a fan of it, and I would definitely buy all the other ones before Cordelius.